Hey, hello, welcome guys. So in previous video, we have learned how to create AP invoices from Oracle Fusion Frontend. Now it's time to create AP invoices using API. So as Oracle provided REST API to create AP invoices, we will use the same. So this is the URI for to create AP invoices. So based on this URI, we need to create make a complete URL to create invoices, the REST API. So how we will do? This is the URI. I will copy this URI and I will add this URI in the Fusion application URL. So this is the Fusion application URL. In that URL, in last, I will make a concatenation. So here we don't require double slices. So here this is the complete API to create API invoices. Now we will use this API to create invoices. The the main question is it before going to use the API, first we need to identify what kind of values or how many values we require to create API invoices. So here you can see in the transaction while creating the API invoices, I provided very few few values, right? Because of that, the rest of the values, the rest of the things already defined in the system based on the, fu the functional setup. So what we need to, whatever value we are providing while creating the invoice from front end, the same value we will use to create invoices using the REST API. So we will follow this approach. So I have already created this invoice, this invoice and this invoice is already in the system. So I need to use that same data to create invoice using REST API. So here you can see they already provided the request payload and the response payload of the invoices. So I have already make a request payload. This is the request payload I have already created to create invoice. Right. So here first we need to identify the value, right? So these all these values are required to create AP invoices. So what how I will I will go what approach I will follow. So what I will do as I know this is the this is the invoice number which I have created for testing purpose, right? So these invoices have all the details which is required to create AP invoices. So I what I will do I will first use uh, the API to find the details of these invoices and same details I will make a copy of the details to create a request payload. So what I will do if you will see here we have API to find the purchase or uh, find the AP invoices. So here if you will see get all invoices this is get an invoice this is the api to get the invoice but instead of the here you can see this this api required invoice id to get the invoice details so as i don't have the invoice id so this is here we have another api get all invoices so if i will use this api it will return back all the invoices created in the system but i don't require so i can use require uh, parameters query parameters while getting the data so i will use this one so here you can see in the postman I am going to test. So in postman for getting the invoice details we have API. I have already configured the same API you can see. This one this is the invoices right this is the API we mentioned here right for getting the invoice details. And here I have added one query parameter Q equals in query parameter I have given the invoice number. So that I it will return back only the data which have the invoice number this one right. So let me first test. You can see this is the method get method for getting the invoice. We have get method. I have already configured. In the authorization, I have already given the name of the username and the password for this URL. So now I am just going to click on send. So here you can see once I click or send, it will return back the invoice data. So what invoice data we have? We have invoice data only for the invoice which have invoice number is equals to this one. Right? So based on this invoice number data, I will pick and I will create a new payload so here you can see in notepad I have already mentioned the details so I required invoice number to create right so invoice number I want so earlier I have created invoice with these values right so what I will do this time I will use instead of one I will use zero two this is the invoice invoice currency will be same the USD I don't want to change and the amount invoice amount so what will be the invoice amount so suppose I want to provide invoice amount as 6000 invoice date that is the today date I don't want to change and the, the business units so I'll have already the same business unit I don't want to change because I have already created the payload right I just want to show you how we can use and how you can search and the description so I just want don't want to change the description and here you can see this is the supplier site and that supplier details right supplier and supplier details you can provide here you invoice group you can skip so here now for the particular invoice, this invoice, I want to make create a two lines. So here you can see this invoice line is in array format and here we have two values, right? 
so first values will be line one second values will be line three line two and if we want more values we can add more lines so suppose we added three so here as i have given invoice amount as six thousand so what i will i want i just want three lines with the two thousand amount so that total will be six thousand and for line information what we required we require line number line amount and the accounting date so accounting date i have already given here as invoice date and the distribution combination distribution combination is required while creating the ap invoices if you will not provide here it will not validate the invoice so now here we have all three lines for this particular invoice and now our request payload is ready now what we need to i need to configure this payload this api to our postman so that we can test so here you can see i have already make a note of that so here if you will see in the create api invoices i have already saved the same so this is the url you can see this is the url same url they provided here to create invoices you can see here create an invoice you can see this is the uri fs cm rest api resource this one you can see compare this is the same so i added here and you can see the method as post so i provided here most method as post and now in authorization i have given the user id password for this instance user and now you can see in the body body part in body part we need to select a row so that we can configure the request payload so as we know that this request payload format is in json so i have selected json here from this list you can select json and this is the payload so right now this is not the correct payload so i, I have created payload here yeah this is the request payload i created so i will copy this request payload right and i will paste this request payload here so here you can see i have used this distribution combination actually i don't remember that i don't know what is the distribution combination so the first approach what we can do is that we can just query the query any invoices here and based on invoices we can get all the details else the another option will be that you can connect with the functional team and they will provide you all the details what will be the liability account what will be the distribution and all so whatever details required you can pass so as i am just creating invoices with the minimum details and the rest of the details is not mandatory so based on your business requirement you can add all the details so here for suppose if you want to update the dff details so for adding the dff here we in our payload we don't have dff right so what you can do as you find this one invoices so here you can see you have all the details all the different different links to add the dff values and all here right so based on these values you can add all these things whatever things you want so now here our request payload is ready with these three lines so that the invoice will be created with the three lines invoice number is this one and everything is done so what we need to do is just we need to click on the send it will send this value and it will return back response as a invoice created with the invoice id and all so just click here i will provide this request payload url everything in the link description so you can copy from there only so here you can see once i click on the send it's pass all the data as a request payload to this api api and this api created invoices in oracle fusions you can see the status code as 201 201 and here you can see we have invoice id it means our invoice created so let me first verify that do we have created or not so why i am using creating invoices using this postman application so before going to create transaction or create integration first you need to verify the payload verify the api that api is working or not and what can what will be the uh, the payload for that particular api so before that we are using that transaction to create using any application that can be the soap ui or the postman and all so now once we perform this operation we get to know that the, this kind of value we require to create ap invoices so what you you will do is that you will ask functional user or the person with whom you are working that this kind of value i require to create integration so whatever value coming from that can be the invoice data will be available over sftp server in any file and all so what you will do whenever you will consume that file you will make a validation and you can make a check that each and every column whatever you required for creating the api is available or not so that once you will create the integration that integration will be working in perfectly fine so here what i will do i will first search this invoice infusion page so here you can see this is our page so here in the tables invoices now i have to search so you can search invoice by clicking on this search icon 
directly and passing the invoice number here or by clicking on the manage so here you can see the invoice we created here it's reflecting so now if we want the same invoice with the another invoice name suppose 003 once you will click on this send the 003 invoice will be created you can see this is the invoice name and this is the invoice id so if you will search the invoice here with the name right zero instead of zero and three once you will send you can see the three invoice available here right so this is the one once you will click you can get all the information whatever information we pass from the api you can see this there were three lines so this is all three lines so now if you will see suppose what will happen if you provide wrong data so as we know that this invoice with the name is already created right and if you will go and click on the send it will you will get an error the invoice number already exists you must provide a unique number so here we know that in if we will get error or like any issues in api so what will be the value so here you can say generate the exception so in integration you will handle that exception by the adding the scope and all so i will show you i will i will create integration also for the same and i will discuss each and every point over there only so thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can make a comment here and obviously if you have not subscribed this channel yet please subscribe this channel thank you so much for joining